When you factor f of x equals x squared plus 4x minus 12, you should end up with f of x equals, and remember we're going to split this into two binomials with an x term as the first term in each binomial. Negative 12 factors into 1 times 12 or 2 times 6 or 3 times 4. We want these numbers to subtract to give us 4, so we're going to pick 2 times 6. Since 4 is positive, we'll make the 6 positive, the 2 negative. We can check this off to the side. And we find that we get x squared plus 4x minus 12, which is in fact what we started with. When we have this, if we are able to factor, what we can do then There we go. All right, back to the problem. So we'll go by one unit. And I'm going to wait to determine the units on my y-axis, and you'll see why. OK, our factoring tells us where we have roots or horizontal intercepts. So we set each factor to be 0, and we find that either x equals a positive 2 or x equals negative 6. And if either one of these is true, that will make one of our factors 0. And we know anything times 0 is 0, so that will make our output 0. So we end up with the ordered pairs, 2 comma 0 and negative 6 comma 0. The wonderful thing about quadratic equations is that they are symmetric, meaning that if I have one root at 2 and another at negative 6, that the line of symmetry is halfway in between these. So halfway in between 2 and negative 6 will be negative 2. And you can figure this out by taking negative 6 plus 2 divide by 2. That's the midpoint. So I find that that is my line of symmetry. I can then plug in negative 2 to my function. I get negative 4 times positive 4, which is negative 16, which means I will have an ordered pair. At negative 2 comma negative 16. And so I can now connect the dots to create my somewhat OK looking parabola. <laughs> All right, I know that was a lot of work. Take a moment to process this. Review the video if you need to. We're going to look at the same function, but next we're going to look at it using the quadratic equation to solve.